Hey, hello, how's it going? Welcome back to another Slice and Dice video. It's me, Cranberry. Hopefully you are doing well. Having a pretty good one. It was a scorcher out today, though. I wasn't working that long. It was like 95 degrees out, which is pretty crazy. I mean, it's, it's, it's summer. It makes sense. But it was hot out. It was a hot one today. Uh, and yeah, that's all That's all that happened. Other than that, just a pretty pretty normal day at work. Let's uh, Let's hop in here. Let's play a little Slice and Dice. I I haven't decided yet. I might be doing a stream, but this is by no means a guarantee. I might be streaming. I might not be when this video uploads. I haven't. I, I, I don't know. It depends. It depends. But let's not worry too much about it, I guess. Maybe swing by Twitch, but don't be too upset. I'm leaning towards no. But if I'm not streaming today, I'm definitely doing one tomorrow. So, eh, <laughs> anyway, I don't know. Uh, spoilers for the last video. We did win, and I have tied my PB now for two wins in a row for Unfair. So hopefully, we can keep it up here. We'll see. And, I, and listen, Magical, it's been going great so far. I've been managing the greens pretty well. They have not killed me. And in the last video, we actually took a Tier 2 green all the way to the end, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to start Magical. We'll see how it goes here. Am I crazy, or is Ad Warchief not that I, I think Ad Warchief feels like it must be worth nine points of curse. Maybe, maybe that's just insane. I don't know. And you know what I'm thinking too? Actually, I'm looking at it here. Add Illusion and Add Slime also feel pretty easy. Ocular Amulet, definitely not worth the two points of Blessing, I feel like. It's not a terrible item, but it's not worth that much. Do we just go like... Man. I think the line here is maybe Add War Chief, Add Slime, but let's, let's, let's look at some options. Let's look around... Monsters being immune to abilities, definitely not good on a magical team. It does mean our basically only source of damage is clumsy, which is not that good. Essence capture. Oh, it's heroes upon death add two mana. I thought this was the one where when monsters die, you get mana. Definitely not as good then. Not terrible for blessings, but not that useful. Ah, oh, man. Um... So here's like the thing. You have Sandstorm. Which is just one damage to all allies. Add War Chief is just it's it's kind of like one damage to all allies. It's just making all the other monsters a, 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 a dice do one more, more damage, which is not the same, obviously. Um, I, I guess the issue is at least in the early game, this team really can't kill the War Chief round one. But if, the War Chief only has six HP. Eventually, we get to the point where that's a pretty easy enemy to kill. And for six points of curse, or for nine points of curse, that seems pretty good. And the question is do we go with Illusion or Slimelet in addition? Because I think it's one of these two that goes with it. I don't know the correct answer here. I think it's at Illusion. Only one HP is so small. And especially in the early game, we have, we have Poke off of Mage, we have Clumsy with a bunch of things that can handle the Illusion pretty easily. I think it's these two. I'm a little bit worried though, but um, we have pockets. What is our pockets item here? Rusty longsword. Honestly, kind of sick with the clumsy to get rid of the caltrops. I feel like we definitely don't play eliminate though, or clumsy shoe. I should say. I guess. Um, yeah, it's a pretty bad line. But yeah, I I kind of like this. I kind of. I mean, Hinder does nothing for us really here. Whatever, you can just hold that for now, Clumsy, if you'd like. Okay. So Pocket's getting their ass beaten here, round one. We do get to cleave the illusion down, which is pretty cool. Let's just see how this turn currently looks. So we do this. If we could kill the War Chief, this would be great, but we can't. I think we just probably do this here. Maybe do something like that. It doesn't. <sighs> yeah, I think we just I think we just play it safe here. Lose pockets. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. You can put like a hemlock on. I think we put it on honestly on wolf here. I think we're just gonna kill the war chief with direct damage next turn, hopefully, and just kind of whittle the wolf down. Shouldn't be too bad. Oh, but everyone's dying this turn as well. Kind of, kind of a yike situation here. So we can get into the cleave move on uh, on what's his name here. Okay, no cleave. We get a lot of mana this turn. 
Okay, everyone lives. Very nice. And all we have to do now is just roll one mana side next turn, and we get to leave the fight with fairly low casualties. Not zero, but fairly low casualties here. Okay. Uh, on this team, Sparky should be pretty good, I imagine. I am worried about uh, this combat specifically. I don't know how we're going to kill a Thorn really very easily. Our only person that can deal damage is Clumsy, but I especially in this combat like the the Rusty Longsword then on Clumsy. I think it's going to be uh, much better than the cantripping when we're not trying to into the Thorn here. That's pretty good news. Uh, very good stuff here as well. We're going to kill the Thorn. We're going to burst into this here. And yeah, we're just, we're just winning this whole fight extremely easily. Uh, we'll put this, I guess, here. And yeah, there's just a very clean, simple turn one. Uh, let's see if we can get some mana, maybe? There we go. Okay. Gotta say, a little lucky there that Sparky rolled that well. But pretty good stuff overall. Uh, I don't hate the Necromancer's Tome here. I think we can put this probably maybe on Clumsy as well. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. Okay. I'll settle for the mana heal this turn. I'll settle for all of these this turn. This is pretty good stuff. I think we can roll these again, though, hopefully here. Okay. Cleave is always looking pretty sweet here. And we do... It's a little janky, but we do get the kill this way. Which looks pretty good to me here. I, you know, as well, as well this turn. Yeah, I I think it's a it's a little spooky to have um, this much starting HP if that makes sense at the beginning of each round, but I think ultimately we'll, we'll be fine. I'm not too worried. Okay, who's actually targeting you? Oh, you're getting hit by uh, the boar and the archer, so I can't really actually stop your damage coming in. It looks like. Well, I can just do this and zap it. We can we can keep you alive. Uh, and then I guess we do this. Doesn't really matter too much. Um. That is lethal. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. The war chief and illusion on a bad roll seemed terrifying, but on a not bad roll, it looks pretty good, honestly. So I'm not too worried. Um. Just thinking of what we want here. I think I want to go a little bit more aggressive. I think these are both pretty lackluster. I think we can go for a random here. There's definitely some bad hits on 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 uh, greens here we could get, but we're in a situation where like a lot of them aren't that bad because we can just give them the long sword and then it's not the end of the world. All right? What what do we want here especially? Right? This would be terrible. This with the long sword actually I think wouldn't be that bad. It would be interesting at the very least. Granite on this team is pretty solid. Uh, statue with longsword is not terrible either. Yeah, it's not too. There's not too many landmines today in the green town, and these are two pretty lackluster reds on this team. I imagine we really just want. I mean, disciples actually pretty good with Sparky because we just need mana generation more than anything. I'm gonna go for it though. Okay, priestess low on mana generation, but these vitality heals should be very good, so I do not hate this at all. Should be okay in the grand scheme of things. I will take the exert one to stop this troll from being such a menace. I'll take these as well this turn. Okay, pretty pretty good stuff here. Get to keep pockets alive with this. And and the troll's exerted, which is nice. We should be able to kill the war chief this turn. Yeah, pretty good. Keep this as well. Cleanse healed not looking that good this turn. I'll just settle for mana. No reason to take this. We can roll a little bit better, hopefully. There we go. Exactly. Uh, I think I actually put this here. We can do burst zap this turn. Probably put the heal on like clumsy. And I think we just put this on... I don't even know who we put it on. I think Sparky is the most important character this combat, so I don't hate putting it here, but we should probably just put it on Priestess. They're pretty important, too. 
A single prey gets us out of uh, death zone here, which is pretty nice. I, I think I should settle for the. I, I we could we could roll a little bit here. I should. I, uh, nah, I'm just gonna settle. I'm gonna settle on the mana this turn. Like I said, prey looks pretty good here. Clumsy keeping keeping the troll in check this turn. Okay. Vitality heal looks pretty good. I think we just do like this into restore actually this turn. Keep the prayer cost as low as we can. Save it for like in case of uh, emergency break class situations. I forgot we have the mana side here on, on Clumsy that would actually be pretty good to roll into. Okay, I don't think we get there this turn on the Fear Swamp. I think we should just cash in the damage anyway. It's not bad, though. Okay, no one even dying this turn. That's very good news. I'll keep taking the four Fidelity heals when I get them. That's actually a pretty good side as well. Clumsy can't even roll the mana side very efficiently this turn either, so it's not, it's not a huge incentive to go for it. Okay. We're pretty close to lethal here. A charge, as I say, a charge wild roll will be very good. So we'll take that. Yeah, we do just have lethal here. Good. Very good. We are a very slow team, but we are getting there eventually. Sapphire, to me, makes a lot of sense here. It is just a strict upgrade on Sparky, but it, we'll put it probably somewhere else right now. Probably putting it on you, and then maybe we just get rid of... Hmm. I like this because it gets rid of one of the Caltrops, which it makes sense to me. I think maybe Rusty Longsword goes away for now. I, I, maybe Necromancer's Tome goes nowhere, honestly, currently. I like the three mana that it makes, but there's not many sides that are, like, like super worthwhile to put it on. And it's a good it's a good out for Roulette later as well. I don't re regret that we have it, but I think it just doesn't make it to the team currently. Yeah, definitely take this. Definitely take this as well. Cleave Attack looks pretty good here. We're close, but not quite making the war the the war chief flee here. Just tragic. Oh, wait, did I do this wrong? Hold on. This goes here. This goes here. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Weird. I think we just cash in the damage on war chief now. There's a chance that we can get the war chief to uh, overkill here, which makes the bandit flee, which would be good. Not something we're gonna super go for here if we if we can't see it easily. I think this honestly this turn as well. Okay, I think Sparky Triple X, which is pretty fucked up. And we'll just take a zap on War Chief. Keeps us looking pretty good this turn. But Priest is gonna need con constant maintenance here to not die, which is annoying. A cleanse here. Cleanse looks pretty good. Not making much mana this turn, so we'll just roll for a small mana side here or the this side, which is really nice too. Okay. Oh, uh, we can cash in like a prey here, maybe. Look at the cleanse here into this. That looks pretty decent. We can actually just make a retreat happen here too. Yeah, that looks or not a retreat, a zap here, so that looks pretty good. Shouldn't try to force a retreat if we're just gonna win the combat normally. And that's kind of like an important lesson that has taken me a decent while to learn, but I think I am there now. Mm. Anyway. Reroll Clumsy. Actually, with this setup, I like Clumsy quite a bit here. I don't think no, no real need to reroll. And I think, listen, Voyax might hate me for this one, but on this team specifically, I think Druid is a pretty easy pickup for us. A little bit of cleanse utility, a lot of mana generation should just be pretty solid on this team. So that's kind of a no-brainer here. And I think this is actually worthwhile as well. Especially with these charge sides, fueling them seems pretty important, so... I think I will take this. It's a little bit scary. And it's a good side that we're replacing, obviously, as well, which is kind of uh, not great, but I think it's worth it overall. I will take these. I will take this this turn. Looks pretty good as well. Okay, so for starters, make the blind retreat here looks pretty good. 
think we kill this way as well. Then Pockets is getting killed by Snake, so I think we do this. And yeah, otherwise it's a pretty good looking turn. It's unfortunate that the uh, Drew's getting weakened for three. So they're offline next turn, but I think we're in a pretty good position here. I am not too worried. Okay, Clumsy, uh, what the fuck? Please don't do that again. Take this. We can just go like this into this here. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I, I think. I think maybe I'm crazy, but for nine curse points, the War Chief seems like it's way uh, over overrated. If that makes sense, like way, way too many p curse points for how hard it is to actually fight it. Although I guess you know what, I haven't contemplated the prospect of already a War Chief existing in the fight, so now there's two of them I have to handle. That's a little scary. Replace all sides with the hero above's base side. No, I don't want to do this. I don't want to think about if this is good or bad. No, thank you. Uh, Whetstone looking pretty bad on this team comp. There's like Luda potentially is not terrible on, but I think I will just take Scalpel. And then I think I'm going to actually maybe have to move this off now, put Scalpel here, because now this is a three damage side, which is pretty sweet. I think this once again just goes nowhere. And maybe Scalpel will have late game value. Who knows? Probably, if we're being honest, it probably just won't. It's nice to have. If we if we illusion or we if we balance here to kill the uh, the illusions this turn, everyone is fine. So I think I will keep these sides here. I will roll for clumsy doing something better than this. Hopefully, there we go. Okay. Now with this line, I think we still go for the balance here. I think we go balance first into cleave attack here. I should roll pockets again because I don't need the heal wand, I'm not realizing. Ah, unfortunate. Doesn't look like too bad of a turn though overall. Okay, Golem is hitting a bit because of these war chiefs, so we do need to probably kill this man today. I'll take both of these. I'll settle on this one, I think. Okay, charge side, very good for us here. I, I just realized we can zap the golem. I think we could have done that last turn probably. I just, I just didn't notice. This is a pretty good line. And I think Dabbler on this team makes an, an extreme high amount of sense. Sphere is not bad, obviously, but... Like, look at this. Look at this on this team now. It's kind of just beautiful. I don't even hate this either, but I think three damage is probably better than the three mana pain. Definitely debatable, though, because we have a lot of utility for, for our, our mana. Actually, you know what? Man, with charge and with balance, and, like, we just have so much. I think we I think we actually go for this instead. And then in case anyone dies, we can, bring, we can still use our spells, which is pretty cool, too. Fun little extra bit of utility there. We'll keep this. Okay, Sparky did triple X, so he does kind of deserve to die today, unfortunately. We can keep him alive. But that's a pretty rough turn, but I think I think this is okay. Druid getting weakened there, also very annoying. Okay, uh, AoE heal looks pretty good this turn too. I'll settle for the one mana here. We can roll better this these, on these guys, I'm pretty sure. Okay, it's not much better, but whatever. Uh, I think we're supposed to go for a balance here to kill this, this illusion. And then, I guess we hit Mag right here, because everyone else we hit this turn, it's it's causing a lot of damage. If we hit Agnes, it's, it's killing Priestess this turn. If we hit Gaitha, it brings Sparky one away from death, so I think this is the better line, but it is spooky. This is a spooky turn for us. Okay, Prayer going to be very important for us today. I am realizing the pocket says nothing this turn. That's okay. Uh, Kind of a weird sequence here, but I think we do this into the zap here. I think we should do prayer first. Uh, Agnes making another wolf is also really bad for us. It's whatever, though. Might need to roll another charge side this turn. Okay, well, we do it. That's really good. So 
So you're at six health. Maybe another another weird sequencing thing. No, we can't really get there. Actually, never mind. Balance into here. The, see, here's the problem. I would love for pockets to live, but I I think the main issue is um he's just not worth much this combat. And if we waste the resources saving him, we might just lose the entire fight. But it's probably man. If we go back a second too, we can do this. It's probably not too bad just to go prayer here, and then and then balance. And then that keeps you alive. It heals a lot of damage coming in, too. I think this is worth it. I'll put this here as well. Okay. I feel pretty in control of this, although... One bad turn, everything could fall apart. But this is a pretty good turn. I don't think things will fall apart here. Pockets, you don't got much to roll. You got a stick. Okay, that's that's not terrible. Um, We hit this. I just put this here and put this here would be my guess. We can actually know what hold on. We can do We can do this. I'm now realizing this into this. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay. Yeah, we survived this now. Sparky, great work there. I feel like he was kind of uh the carry on this one. The glue that really held things together for us, so to speak. Cool. Uh, ooh, I love Hex. Hex is a fantastic spell. But we do have Scalpel. And Scalpel Bonesaw is pretty sick with this, so I think I'm going to take this. Like, this is a fantastic combo. Let's me put the, uh, the Necromancer's Tome on here, too, which I feel a little bit better about. I don't feel great about it, though, but I don't know. We have less mana generation on the priestess, but it's the it's the one mana sides. It's kind of like the it's kind of the actual worst sides for priestess. I feel like sometimes on this team on this team I think the one heal all is the worst side. But I think usually the one mana game is the worst side. Um, in, in a vacuum, and replacing those with four damage cruel should be strong. I expected to do good things for us today, basically. Um. We can go like hit into zap into something like that looks pretty good. I think that's fine. Sparky's a little low. I don't love that, especially because he's getting the fuck targeted out of him today. What the hell? Maybe we do a little bit better here, guys. Come on. Okay, well, everyone threw, it looks like, for the most part here. Um, we're going to have to do something like this into... Huh. Maybe this into... So we can do... Eh. We're going to zap this top imp. I guess we pray first. No, I guess we hit first. Hit first. Then then pockets doesn't get healed. I don't know. Whatever, this is fine. This is okay. Couple couple quick heals here and we're out of the hole. Also just do like this into this. And that should cause a retreat. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Pretty easy stuff. Uh, this is a pretty easy Mimic line for me, too. It's not the most impressive sides that we're copying on Mimic. But Mimic, it's the exact same run as yesterday, pretty much, right? Mimic uh, has great potential for us in the future. Uh, so, yeah. It will, I'm sure, once we get... Our highest priority here is probably getting rid of Sparky now. Because we want a, a uh, blue character that makes better mana for the middle side. Probably, I mean, Weaver is probably our number one pick right now because Weaver has the three mana side there. That would be very strong. But there's a couple of different good sides we could get for sure. Well, that was a good roll too. We balance. Do we balance here? We could just go like... No, we can't really get much out of not balancing this turn. Let's work on getting the, the Quartz weakened here, but let's make sure that the Priestess is not dying to poison next turn. 
Druid pretty much offline, which sucks, has the one pain side, but also has one HP, so not that not that great of a play either. I think the heal all doesn't look too bad this turn. I don't know what we're even... Okay, we rolled the mana, hooray. Close, but not quite enough to kill the sniper here, so we'll just go for a shield here. Maybe we had an angle to get them a little bit of flee, but I don't think it's even worth it really this turn. I think we're kind of just better off making big mana. Okay, we get to get the we get to make this the zombie here flee. Which is cool. Again, just balance to kill the sniper this turn. Put the heal here. And oh we just have lethal. Okay, cool. Very cool. Triangle does nothing currently. But we see, like, Surgeon later, we're going to be so happy that we have this. Um, Ambrosia, also not the worst side ever, but not that good on this team. Really good on Priestess, but Priestess is currently busy with their other, the other items. I think we take the Triangle for the for the future pick here. And, you know, it's not it's not terrible. It's a plus one on uh, Dabble right now. In theory, for whatever reason, we want the Bone Saw and the Scalpel separate. We can go... Actually, you know, it's actually pretty sick here. Oh, no, it doesn't do anything. Shit, never mind. The, these are at four. Why did I think these would get boosted by the triangle? That's not how that works. They're not high enough. Um, This is an angle, too, but I think I like this better. Okay, Spike, you're doing some pretty good damage to us this turn. I don't love seeing that. I think I'll just settle on the shield here for Mimic as well. Okay, pretty good turn. Pretty good turn here. I think we'll hit like this, and I think we'll just burst the illusion down to get the petrify out of here. And not too shabby, not too shabby. The bone saw side kills the fanatic here in a single attack, which is pretty nice. Uh, but priestess is under heavy fire. I'll take the shield here. That's pretty decent. Priestess might die here. No, Priestess lives. Never mind. We're good. Like, literally, the math works out so Priestess lives. So that's nice. Ah, oh, man. I don't think I want to... I mean... Two damage is not worth it here on the charge side. Uh, yeah, I don't want to waste this. You can definitely get more mana next turn and hopefully roll it as well. Not looking so good when you're at one HP. I think we just roll for, for heals instead this turn. That looks pretty good. I'll settle for one mana here too, whatever. If they're not giving me the charge side, it is what it is. I should put one of these on Priestess this turn. There we go. And we'll just burst down, pass. Doesn't look too bad. This turn, I don't hate seeing the cruel side here. We should be able to get lethal this way. And there we go. Uh-huh. Let me think here for a moment. Sorcerer puts a reroll on Mimic instead of a mana side, which is not that good. But it is an extra reroll on your team, which is nice to have. Dice is, a, is also an okay uh, tier 3 green. I don't know, the, I, listen, I, the unfair players have been saying that Sorcerer is pretty good specifically because it has a very good matchup against the hand, which makes sense. A plus one all on Sorcerer is very strong. Um, Our team feels pretty good right now. I think we can take the Sorcerer. I think the extra reroll support on Mimic is pretty cool too. I think this should be fine for the most part. I am a little concerned though, but let's let's play it. Let's see how it, let's see how it goes. Just having an innate uh, cleave spell is pretty cool, too. It should make uh, handling this illusion and Warchief hopefully a little bit easier for us. I do need to pretty much kill this Warchief round one, I'm realizing, though. Which we can do. It does mean the illusion gets to live, though, which I don't love. But I think we do this. I think we do like this. Summoning two imps is very annoying, but we're pretty close to to, to 
uh, reinforcements here anyway, so I think one of them will be yeah in reinforcements, which is not too bad. Yeah, he's summoning again, which is very annoying. We do need to, you know, kill some people this turn, I'm pretty sure. Do I take the heal here? I don't think I take the heal. I think I take the, the AoE heal, though, on Priestess this turn. That looks pretty good. Well, actually, in retrospect, I don't like it as much anymore. Never mind. I was going to say, we do need to kill some of these bones. Ooh, a sorcerer I'm not realizing is dying to the, the pain here. Unless we kill whoever is targeting you, which is, I guess, this bone down here, which we can do pretty easily. Hmm... This is kind of weird. Hold on. So I think I think pray first is good here. So it lets us use the mana here from Druid. That makes sense to me. Oh, you know what the line is? I think it's like this into this now. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay, that works for me. Putting two poison on Rotten. All we have here is a couple imps to fight. It's not too bad. We should be able to sustain against them pretty well here. Okay, Sorcerer, don't triple X me, please. God damn you. God damn you. I'll put this here, though. We're handling things pretty well, I think, though, for the most part. I am not too concerned. Uh, no blocks here. No blocks. Okay. That doesn't look too bad. The amount of vitality heals we have here actually does a pretty good job of combating the Rotten's uh, poison as well, which is pretty annoying. Or the, the, the plaguing as well, I guess, which is pretty annoying. That's kind of a neat little synergy we have going for us right now. Uh, I think I'll take this. I'll settle this turn, too. Well, we don't kill the Rotten here, preemptively, but I accept this. This is pretty good. We should win, which we do. Okay, good. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Uh, Ocular Amulet is not terrible on Sorcerer. It's a, only a tiny little bonus, but there's definitely worse bonuses to have. I mean, the problem is let, let, let's look at let's let's look at the average tier six item here. Honestly, right? We were looking for things like a sorcerer. Sorcerer, we've now hitched our cart to sorcerer wins or loses us this game. So in the tier two section, what is like really good with sorcerer? Oh, jewel loop would be fantastic on sorcerer, right? That would be an amazing get. Um, sparks doesn't do anything unfortunately, but uh, eucalyptus is fine too. Hourglass is good. There's a, there's I can see a lot of very good uh, tier six items here. I think we'll do a better job for us overall than the ocular amulet will do. Ocular amulet, very middle of the road item here. So I think we just want to go for a random instead. Okay, braids doesn't do much for us unfortunately. If for whatever reason we wanted, you know, more, if we, if we had ocular amulet, actually we would probably do that. We'd probably go amulet into braids here. Um. I don't know. Like, what? Are, I guess this is fine. What are we rolling for if not the mana cantrip side? So I guess this is just as good, if not better, than the the, the reroll side. So I think this is fine. Um, and we go next. Okay, we're getting stepped on a little bit by these cyclopses here. A little bit, a little bit scary for this first turn. We make some, we make some mana here. I think I'll just settle for this honestly this turn. Okay, that looks pretty good. That keeps everyone alive. Which I, I do enjoy being alive. Unfortunately, the weaken on Druid is very annoying here. But, um... Could be worse. Weaken on Sorcerer would be a lot worse for us this turn, so that's fine. And... I'll take this, I think. With the growth on this, the shield's actually looking pretty good here, too. Okay, um... We 
Getting this done this turn is pretty nice. Let me put this here. Put this probably here. And you know what? Actually, fuck this guy. Just burst him. I'm, I'm sick of that guy. I've had enough of his shenanigans. Um, I'll take this. I think I'll take the heal here too. But honestly, I, I should probably roll for the cruel side. Because cruel side does just kill the Cyclops right away. Take the shield here. I'll take a heal. Honestly, it looks pretty good this turn too. Okay. Priestess, thank you for being a hero. And pretty good turn for prayer. We should actually do the prayer first, I suppose. Because Mimic will get a little bit of extra value out of it too then. That looks pretty good to me. I'll put this here. I'll put this here, I guess. This past turn, we could put a little Miasma down there to get the poison going. But I think let's just wait till this turn and see what's going on. In a fight like this, it might, it might just be better just to go single target damage, honestly. Okay. We hit with the stun here. Put this here, and we should be able to get lethal this turn. It would be a little bit weird if we could not. We can very easily. The Bone Saw Scalpel has been very strong. Been enjoying that quite a bit. Reroll the class of Sorcerer. I gotta commit. I'm committed. I ain't switching. I'm not taking either of these though. Although, oh man, actually maybe it is twin. It's kind of it's kind of not amazing. But twin does we can put the Necromancer's Tome and then the Sapphire on it makes quite a bit of mana for us on this team. I guess it's fine enough. It's not the most amazing line here. But it's okay. Okay. Could give him the Rusty Longsword if we wanted to as well. We could do, like, uh, this. I think this is better, though. And we'll go to the next fight. We're taking a trillion damage, which I don't love to see. My twins roll pretty badly turn one, which I also do not like to see. Let's pretty much roll everyone again here. Take two men. I'll take the big heal here. And my, my twins... Just didn't roll any of their sides, which is tremendously fucked. Uh, there's, I'm now noticing there's two war chiefs this combat, which have already taken so much damage as well. I think we maybe kill this one. We can even do like this into this here, which I don't hate. Get a little poison down on the field. I think that's fine. At least we keep one twin around still. Okay, everyone is once again dying. I'll cash out the twin here, honestly. It does not seem like too bad of a turn to me. You can maybe save him, though. Hold on. How does it look to save his ass here? If, if, if it's possible. That's not great. You just go double balance. You do like prayer, prayer. Okay, so. I think the big thing I'm noticing is we have to cash out the twin. Sorry, bud. You are just kind of a... Oh, actually, maybe... Oh, we can do prayers here, actually, instead. You can do prayers and keep him alive. Prayer, prayer. And then we go... This into burst, probably. Into, like, this. We have one more mana to use. Hmm. Look at everything again. So with 11 mana, I think the first thing we have to do is prayer again. Hmm. What about one of these into burst here? Now nah, the war chief, the war chief still gets through. Man, 
Man, I'm just thinking, just thinking. Snake has to go here, I'm pretty sure. We do this. There's no like there's no line with prayer here that gets us there. So I think it is just uh put this here. Prayer's not terrible this turn still. But it's like it's like the same the same value, I'm pretty sure, as just as just like bursting on sorcerer. And it's one less mana, yeah. We cash the twins out. Listen, this is the crime the sin the this is this, this is the crime the twins have to pay for for rolling so badly on turn one. I'm sorry, it is just how it is. Okay, well, this is pretty bad for us as well. Man, it is it is tragic that I can't really kill this war chief. We have five mana. You can do like poison. We do poison, we are screwed. Hmm. You can do one prayer, and then we're all still de dead, which is not great. You can do this to stall. The stalling here seems terrible. We have to commit to damage. It's looking pretty over to me. You do like this into this. Even then, we don't make it out of here. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's it's no matter how you slice it, it's pretty bad here. We can maybe save Sorcerer somehow. Yeah, we're still we're still dead. We are still dead. And maybe if we had like if, if Sorcerer rolled one more mana side here, we could maybe could have gone double double miasma here and then like had a chance of surviving. But it is just not happening. It is just not happening here. What about, what about this? Is this anything? Is balance here somehow aligned? I don't think so. Yeah, everyone's still dead. Um, yeah, I think Sorcerer's a lost cause. There's too much direct damage from the Null here. We put this here. I guess this here. At least we should do this first. This and then this. And I don't know how these three characters have any chance of making it out of this, but... It's the only thing that seems even remotely feasible, which is not going to happen. As you can see, we're getting just crushed here still. Take two mana. Really need like a cruel side maybe somehow that gets us there. Like cruel into prayer and then and then priestess lives, but then priestess doesn't do anything this turn anyway. So yeah. It's just not happening, unfortunately. We do not have a, a line here. You can do burst. And then, like, yeah, there's, there's, there is just no way. It's over. You can burst here preemptively. doesn't matter, but then... Null. Null is still hitting, so we can kill the war chief here still. But it doesn't matter. Unfortunate run. I... I man, I... The only thing in my head here is that the twin pick was just not good enough. Again, really bad turn one from the twins. I also, I just don't see the sorcerer being as strong as people are saying it is. Like, we we didn't we didn't get far enough in the game to find the really good items for a sorcerer, to be fair. But even then, I just feel like he doesn't do much. His spell isn't so crazy, and he doesn't make that much mana without support. And I just I just don't really get the appeal too much. But, ah, whatever. I don't know. Uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and hopefully I will see you for the next one. Goodbye.